Hey guys, I want to talk with you a little bit about some dating strategy, general stuff today. Something that that I've learned because I've made the mistake plenty of times. I think a lot of you guys out there have probably made the mistake too. And you know, I th- I, th- I still think the majority of guys out there are making this quote unquote mistake as I see it. And like everything I'm talking, guys, you know, I've, I've said this a hundred times before, and I'll say it a hundred more times, probably every time I sit down to do a recording. I mean, you, you guys do whatever you feel is right for your situation or whatever you think your situation is called for. And if you're picking up and reading some different things and you feel like you need to go a certain way with certain things, then by all means do that. But I'm just trying to convey what I've seen in my life and what's worked and what hasn't worked. And I wanted to pull in a little piece like straight from the horse's mouth today. And I want to talk explicitly with you about when you first meet a girl, so it could be either you've met her out in public, you've done your cold approach, you met through a friend, you've done whatever, or meeting online is is a, a common one these days. And that's kind of where I'm going to pull this, this little thing from that I'm going to tell you guys. A lot of guys have a way of throwing out the like sexual kind of, you know, you think you're being jokey and funny and cheeky and all this kind of stuff, but a lot of times it's not well received by women. And a lot of times it can unfortunately be off-putting. And I, I know it's it's hard sometimes because I feel like women kind of give you a little bit of bait. Like they almost like, I've seen this happen. They'll they'll try to throw out these little like hook, line, and sinker things and they, they'll see if you bite on it almost. And like a lot of times you'll throw something back that you think is funny and then she totally is like, oh God, you know, that's that's horrible. That's disgusting. That's, you know, whatever. And that's, and that's just a whole other freaking level of ridiculousness. And that's just... The nature of females where, you know, one day they're hot, next day they're cold. It's, it's, it's of course, hard to um, to hang in with all this, this like, <laughs> this is mu- as much psychological activity going through their minds on their ends. But I'm just saying from the, the default position, if you stick to more of the end of the pool that I'm talking about here, it will, it will probably avoid some of these problems altogether. So the message of the day, guys, is just very simply, like, don't get overly sexual too soon with them when you very first meet somebody right you've been on a few dates even you're just starting to chat with them via text you're you're whatever you have no rapport with this person even if you think they're trying to give you the hook line and sinker don't bite on it hold your tongue hold back your little sexual things like your little sexual jokes or whatever and don't play into that game maintain your position on the reserved conservative end of the pool if you want to think about it like that that to me is more strategic. That to me is leaving your options open. That to me is like not throwing something out there that may or may not be construed positively or negatively. She might play along with it one day, but the next day she freaking hates it. And she's like disgusted by you. And it's just, it it is crazy. It's ridiculous. But that's, this is just what I've seen in the works. And the times when I reserved myself and held myself back from doing those things, throwing out those little sexual jokes, those little innuendo things, whatever, it, it more, generally than not seem to work out better for me and I actually got somewhere and things actually progressed and advanced so it is a tempting thing to do and I want to I want to tie this up and just this is the part that I want to share with you guys there was a girl that I was chatting with um, from Hinge over the last couple of weeks and, and I, for some reason we always get to talking about psychology and we're always just curious about like well what are you experiencing on as a woman on the other end of the the telephone there on the other end of the text thread or whatever. What's what, what are the average things that you're seeing as a woman? And, and I'll, I'll oftentimes be very frank and tell the women about the experiences that I have online. And you know, I, I don't hold anything back, but the little detail here that I'm talking about guys, this is, like I said, this is straight from the horse's mouth. This is Sally <laughs> who lives in the town with me here. Uh, I verbatim quote, um, as I said, I was asking her about the, the average guy that she's meeting on here. Okay. Quote, unquote. I would say from my end, maybe 50% of conversations lean towards a sexual direction right away. And then 30% small chats, small chats that don't go anywhere after a few lines of exchanges. And the rest, about 20% are decent conversations. But of those, a few actually lead to actually meeting in the real world and getting to know each other better. So there's a, a couple different statistics in there. But Look at what she says, guys. The first thing, 50% of the conversations go sexual. And these are the ones that that are not going anywhere for her. And she's like, you know, in, in later like threads of text, it's like this is part of the reason why she claims she's frustrated, like trying to meet guys these days and trying to meet guys online, do all this kind of stuff. But 50%, guys, that's a huge statistic. Like I said, 
I've made the mistakes before. I know you guys have made the mistakes before, but just just take a pause, stop, think about it, think strategically, think a little bit more critically and analytically about these situations, handle them delicately. You know, I did a talk a few days ago about treating a woman almost like you would a little sister. When you very first meet her, you have no rapport with her. You've never been intimate with her before. You, you, she doesn't know you. You're better to err on that side of things. Like I said, just my opinion, do whatever the hell you want. You're better to err on that cautious, like more reserved side of things. And like, yes, certainly, I know you've got the things going through your mind that, that I certainly still do. Yes, you're you're looking for something more out of the situation, most likely. But guys, fight the temptation. Don't go sexual way too forward, too soon, too immediately. It usually is going to turn them off and drive them away. And it's going to send the wrong message about you. And even if you are, to be honest, like even if you are explicitly focused on just getting laid right now. That's fine. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to judge anybody for that. Even still, strategically, guys, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So whether or not you just want to have a little fun, whether or not you want to try to build a relationship, whether or not you, whatever, in all instances, like throwing out that sexual stuff too soon, right in the beginning, I I would even say before you've been intimate with them in general, just don't do it. Hold yourself back. It's going to pan out better for you on the average, I think, with the average woman. Like I said, don't be part of that statistic, guys. 50% of men out there, okay, just they just eliminate themselves right off the bat when they're talking to women like this, okay? You can get ahead of 50% of the game, guys. That's a huge, huge leg up if you just do some of this stuff in this strategic manner that I'm telling you, okay? Just hold yourself back a little bit. Hold your horses. Calm your little hot ass down. I love that phrase. <laughs> I hope you hear my my voice in your head the next time you have one of these exchanges, one of these girls, and they're like trying to bait you. Just keep it, keep it cordial, okay? Keep it James Bond, right? James Bond ain't getting goofy and silly and sending dick pics to the girl, right? Hell no. That's not how it works, okay, guys. All right, guys, hold fort, hold firm in those situations. Do not get too sexual too soon. It's going to just shoot yourself in the foot. That's been my experience, and that's the wisdom I have to pass to you guys, okay? All right, guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you soon.